August 7, 1942. The train is filthy and dark, and the destination even darker, Auschwitz Birkenau. For years on end, Nazi leaders have preached anti-Semitism. Now that they have put their hands on the powers of government, the seeds of hate have sprouted. In these many years, I kept asking myself, where is God? What kind of a God would allow such evil to flourish? From my childhood, I have asked this question, who is God? Born in the Jewish faith, my first answer was that God is the God of Israel, the God of my ancestors, the one true God. By age 14, upon studying different philosophies, I arrived at a new conclusion. God is nobody. He does not exist and he does not matter to me. From then on, I declared myself an atheist. Then something new happened. I began to encounter people who believed that a sudden change had occurred within them and that this was the mark of God's grace. A woman who was not afraid to kneel in prayer in public, a widow who was consoled by the hope of resurrection. The more I searched, the more I realized that the truth I had so long been looking for was not merely an idea or a philosophy. Divine truth had a human face. By age 21, I came to know who God is. Jesus Christ is God and was baptized a Catholic. Being baptized was not enough. Now baptism begins to bear fruit. God called me deeper, asking me to leave the world and my successful career to become a Carmelite sister. God had captured my heart, God crucified. From there, I drew my hope. He conquered the evil of the world, not with power or might, but with the weakness and shame of the cross. From the cross, love reigned triumphant over sin and death. The cross, there it stands in the darkness of Good Friday and in my own darkness, I recognize its light. He calls me to share in his cross, to bring its light to a world steeped in hatred and evil. Like Peter, I tried running away, moving from Cologne to another Carmelite convent in Echt in the Netherlands. And like Peter, the Lord repeated to me, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will take you to where you do not want to go. When the Archbishop of Ulchuk 
denounced what the Nazis were doing to the Jews, I knew my fate was sealed. We were in the chapel when the Gestapo came to arrest us. There I cried out, Ave Crux! Spes Unica! I welcome you, O Cross, our only hope. So here I am, in this night of sin, on my way to the heart of darkness. Here I am, called to bring God's presence in a world where he is absent. Things were in God's plan, which I had not planned at all. I have come to the living faith and conviction that from God's point of view, there is no chance and that the whole of my life down to every detail has been mapped out in God's divine providence and makes complete and perfect sense in God's all-seeing eyes. This is the searing kiss of crucified love. Known to the world as Dr. Edith Stein, my name is Sister Teresa Benedicta of the Cross. At the close of my life, I know who I am, and I know who God is. God is our only hope. Jesus, I believe in you, and I would go to the end of the earth, to the end of the earth, for you alone are the Son of God.